Early last winter I had two big branches of this tree cut down because they were threatening my house. And I got a bunch of pieces that I would really like to turn into lumber. So along with those over there, I've also got these ones, which are smaller, but there are a couple of big pieces in here as well. Now this wood is hard maple, and it's going to be a little bit difficult to cut up. I don't have a chainsaw to make a chainsaw mill, but I've got everything to make a bandsaw mill, so I think I'll do that just to try it out. And now if we come in here to the workshop, I've already got some of the stuff uh, set out that I'm going to be using to build it. I've got the motor that I bought to build my new table saw. This is a two horsepower and it's totally enclosed, fan cooled, so good for this. Now this saw is not going to be anything too fancy, it's just going to be quickly made so that I can cut up those pieces into boards or thicker pieces. I have to wait and see and see how the saw cuts before I decide how thick the lumber will be. So I got this piece of MDF here, three quarter, and I'm gonna make the wheels out of this. That'll be the first thing I'll do. Another thing is I'm not working from any plans Normally, when I do a project like this, I will, you know, do a, a quite a bit of planning before I get started. This time, it's going to be more or less on the fly. I've got a basic idea in my head how everything's going to be, but, you know, changes will come along as I go. So I've got my piece of MDF here. I've determined that the best wheel size is 16 inches, so I'll cut two out of here. I've got my beam compass here to draw the circle. I think that the six inch aluminum pulley is too small. I really don't have a good match for it in the smaller pulley. So I'm gonna make a new one, a seven inch one, maybe seven and a half from this three quarter inch plywood. I guess I could have went out and bought a real seven inch pulley, but the idea was to use what I had on hand to make this, make it quickly. It really won't take long to do this. I'm gonna drill a five eighths inch hole in the middle now because that'll slip onto the shaft that I'm gonna use and I'll be able to turn it on the lathe. I've never done this before, but I think I'm going to try to put this chuck on my lathe. Uh, the jaw is open to five eighths of an inch, so they should, you know, the shaft that I'm going to use should fit right in there. Uh, the taper on here, I'm not sure. I'll have to try it. But like I say, I haven't done it before. First time for everything. Well, they certainly look the same. I'll just slip it in and see how it fits. All right, I got the shaft put in and I've slipped the disc on. I've also put a stop collar on here and tightened up the set screw. Just gonna take some hot melt glue and glue the stop collar onto the plywood and that will stop it from spinning, hopefully. One thing I've noticed is that the chuck will not stay in that taper. It'll wobble out, so I've got to move the tailstock up and put the live center against the end of the shaft.
Okay, I'm not looking for perfection here with this. It just has to drive the wheel and the belt has to fit in there reasonably well. It looks like it does. Ideally, I would attach the pulley that I just made directly to the side of the wheel like this, but I think that that belt would be a little bit too close to the wheel itself. So I'm going to make another smaller disc to go in between to act as a spacer, and then I'll glue the pulley to the disc, the disc to the wheel. Next thing is I need to drill a hole in the middle of this for this shaft, the 5 8 inch hole. Now uh, this is too big for my drill press, so I'm going to do it freehand with the hand drill here. Now this doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but a good way of lining up these Forstner bits is to watch the cut that it makes around. If it's making the cut evenly all the way around, to begin with, try to maintain that angle as you're going through because you know it's 90 degrees to the work. Now I'm going to glue these together. I'm not going to put a lot of glue on here. I just want to make sure they stay together until it's dry. And then I'm going to put screws in. The screws are what's going to really hold it. That's good. Now I've got the shaft and that goes down through all the holes. And then I've got this pulley here. This is actually a steel sheave. And these are really well made, so this will actually help it stay 90 degrees to the shaft as it dries overnight. 